So in this tutorial we are going to be having a quick look at the video plugin texture generator which as this handy description rather usefully tells us generates textures based on noise functions. So I'll just import a picture. Come on, drag, drop, there we go. There we are, a nice uh, six second image of Major Kusanagi. <laughs> and texture generator. So, what have we got here? We have persistence, octaves, zoom, offset X, offset Y, time variance, overwrite source, color levels, palette length, color 1, color 1 pause, color 2, color 2 pause, post processing, tileable, repeat in X and repeat in Y. So the first one we're going to have a look at, um, non-conformist as I try to be, is Overwrite Source, which, as the um, name rather suggests, when you hit this checkbox, the source gets overwritten and is replaced entirely by the texture, as opposed to just being texturized itself. So we're going to do this just so we can uh, get a bit of an idea just to see what we can do with the textures and so forth. It just makes it a little easier to see, although we will switch back over now and then just to see what it looks like on Major Kusanagi's face. Anyway. So, we go back up, and we have persistence and octaves, the first two we're going to look at. Now, octaves are, as um, every schoolboy with uh, access to Encarta knows, um, is a type of interval in music. So it's the you know distance between, um, uh, the interval between two musical notes. It's currently set to 1 here, and in this instance it's sort of like a level between 1 and 10, so look at octaves and level 1, we get this, as you crank it up, this is octaves and level 10. It's, as far as I can gather, it's just basically the amount of noise, or the, you know, the, perhaps the density of the noise, one might say, so it's either like that, or like that, with, you know, nine levels in between. Persistence. Set with octaves, an octave level of 1, doesn't do anything apart from disappear when you get to zero but you know point zero one is looks absolutely no different point uh, to five point zero 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 it's not until we increase the octave level let's go to five say and we start moving the persistence up and down a bit that we start to see it basically just seems to sharpen uh, the noise, so forget now. So we're going to have that disappearing. So it's quite blurry at 0 0.005 as we go up at my on well at 1.005. It's like that, but as we start to go higher, um, yeah, 2.5, we get this essentially, you know. Bugs versus Beatles, the great, you know, static you get on TVs. And with the exception of levels up to, I think about, well, four in this case, but five and above, it's basically just, well, what sort of Bugs versus Beatles do you want? <laughs> really? So, we'll reset that and we'll put that up to level five just so we have. Something to look at. Isn't it nice? Nice and cloudy. Okay. Zoom currently sent to uh, 4. Goes up to whatever you want, really, but. Z epic zoom in, epic zoom out. Not much more to say about that one, really. Offset X and Y. And as we all know, Offsets are basically where you want the start of the picture to be. So if we assume, so we take this as just the start of the picture because you can't have a negative. So you offset it to start with by x and by y thusly. Not a great deal of point in doing that just to start with, I don't think, but um, I could certainly see a use for it if you wanted to animate it. So, very quickly, start there, and just round that to there, 
quick animation Ooh, before we start. Good. I don't want any keyframes for the moment. Okay. Time variance. Again, basically just a another level of animation, or you may could if you want just you know, cycle through it until you find a pattern that you like. But you know, once again, come on. Thank you. Well, just to create a sort of churning, gaseous, cloudy sort of effect. Oh, there we go. Let's reset that. And nothing. Thank you. Now we've covered that one. Color levels. Um, not entirely sure. I'm 256. So that rather implies 256 colors. Maybe it means um how it's sort of blended from color one to color two. But it just doesn't seem to. Do it. So we just choose a couple of new colors. That's nice and disgusting. Um, oh, that's hideous. Um, so we just crank that down to one. I was going to say, there you are. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It's just. Oh, yeah, I was right for once. It's just basically how smooth, I suppose, the, the um, blending between colour one and colour two are. Ah, see? Learn something new every day. Palette length. I'll just raise this up just to make it a bit easier to see for the moment. Currently set to two, and I'm sure you can guess what would happen if I change that to, say, four. Woohoo! Four more colours. Right. Uh, doink. Now I can't actually see much at the moment. I think it might have something to do with this. So if I was to, yep, cram that down a bit and then cram that down a bit, and uh, maybe no, no, that needs to be. Ooh. Ooh. and there we are. Very hideously disgusting. Um texture using four completely disgusting colours. Post processing. None sign or clamp. Basically well then we don't need to see that now, so just make this a bit bigger. Thank you. So we get down to this. Sign. Clamp. None. Tileable. See that? Basically just takes one corner of it. And Makes it tolerable. So, if we to do repeat in X and repeat in Y, something like that, it seems to click together. But if we were to turn that off, it won't tile. Now, just to see what it looks like if we take off overwrite source. Ugh! Isn't that hideous? But a very funky effect nonetheless. And now, just for the fun of it, um, just keep that overwritten. Time variance, um, smooth, just below six seconds. Just round that up to something. Sorry, sorry, I do not want it tileable. Thank you. Right. Um, set X. Let's just crown that up somewhere. I'll keep that as is. Um, yeah, I think that'll do. Oop, no. Don't have the right source. Very, very psychedelic. Stop that, we'll just take on there. Obviously, once it rendered properly, it'd be a bit better, but yeah, it's a nice sort of cloudy sort of amorphous effect. Um, that's it for now.